Okay, looks like we're live. Welcome back to Trails in the Sky. Um, yeah, last time we did a whole lot of tournament stuff, and this time we're doing more tournament stuff, and also espionage. Um, hopefully more of the former than the latter, though. The Bosse side of the Happy Gate. Is your husband the general? I feel like your husband is the general. Hmm. Yeah, I noticed that. There are so many soldiers. Hmm. Including the church? Really? I have to imagine this guy doesn't much care for that. It seems like Colonel Richard is attempting to put this to subtly put the city under martial law. Hmm. It feels iffy. Okay, well. Reopen the port and miss all these extra regulations? Just a hint, but I wouldn't hold my breath. Hmm. That's rough. And totally preventable. Not necessarily by you, but. Uh, about mustn't? Soldier become a four letter word? Huh. A ragtag bunch of rag writers. Okay then. I mean, I guess as long as you're okay. They're keeping a strict eye on the media as well. Uh, it's totally a coup. Stress, insomnia, and wow. Are you just... I feel called out, okay? Less so about the second one, but... Pardon us. Hey, you're here! Amazing! Dorothy actually got the message to you guys and didn't screw it up! The miracles never cease. So, I hear you won your match. Dorothy was in an absurdly cheerful mood when she got back. Hmm. A black folder. 
Nothing super secret, but I was able to get out some documents. Let's just say they're on loan from some of my army contacts, but it's under your hat. Colonel Alan Richard. Born 1168 in the Rouen region. Graduated head of his class from the military academy. Later assigned to the mobile task force led by Cassius. Ooh. 92. Recognized for distinguished service under Cassius Bright in the Hundred Days of War. When he was born in 68, that would put him in his 30s. Appointed to staff of the military operations office after Colonel Bright's retirement. Mm, maybe more like his 40s. Wait, this guy is supposed to be in his 40s? Really? Suggested formation of intelligence division. I guess late 30s. Uh, Queen Alicia approves the request and appoints him as the first commander of the new branch. Captain Canona Amalfia. Born in 1175 in Liverpool's capital city of Brentville. Her excellent grades at the military academy earned her a place on the staff of the military operations office shortly after graduation. 1201 reassigned to the newly formed intelligence division on Colonel Richard's recommendation. Later appointed as Colonel Richard's aide de camp assisting directly with military operational command. You know, actually, it's her that has a really impressive rank for her age. Because she's got to be 70... probably late 20s? And she's like, what, a captain? I think? Hmm. Actually, what is the year right now, anyway? Yeah, she's a captain. Captain at under 30 is pretty good. Second Lieutenant Lawrence Belgar. Age and nationality unknown. A member of Jester who was invited by Colonel Richard to join the division. Wow, that's incredibly mysterious. Jaeger Corps are known as the best mercenaries in the business. I'm not sure how useful this will be, to be honest. First Lieutenant Julia Schwartz of the Royal Guardsmen, currently wanted for questioning, in the Academy the same year as Captain Omafia. Oh, that is a juicy tidbit. Nona's got the brains and Julia's got the combat skills. This is nothing to do with the military, mind you. You kids know about Princess Claudia, right? Claudia, you say? Orphaned when the crown prince and his wife died. She's not well known, but she is the direct descendant of the queen. From what I could take up, she lives in the Royal Keep, and pretty much stays there most of the time. 
and it seems someone's looking for a prospective mar marriage candidates for her. It's the Colonel. It's definitely the Colonel. It is a way to legitimize his seizing of power. Interesting. Who is on the phone? <laughs> I wonder. With a curfew out, Neil might get caught in it. Estelle, Joshua, how did your meeting go with the reporter from Liberal News? Did he get any valuable leads or information? Second Lieutenant Lawrence is part of the Jaeger Corps. Or more specifically, the Jaeger Corps known as Jester. Hmm. I see. Mm hmm. Opposing viewpoints regarding the safety of the common man. I wouldn't say no chance. With a bit of cloak and dagger, I might be able to find the information. But it'll take several days. A member of the Imperial Royal Family will be arriving in Grantsville during the Queen's birthday celebration. Wait, I think I- which royal family? The Imperial Royal Family, meaning the Urbonian Empire. We'll be able to investigate more easily. And we need to win. Another sewer key! 
This part of the game really is a bit of a dungeon crawl though, isn't it? I really do wish they had, you know, given us some actual quests for down there. Estelle, look, I agree with what you're saying, but you're talking, you are complaining to the wrong people. Kidding. Mm-hmm. Maybe slightly more obnoxious than regular soldiers, but... Satellites. <laughs> mm -hmm. And all of our guests who have gone out have invariably been let right back in. guy who was wanted to cap up, camp out front of the place? Oh, you're gonna have a bad time tonight. It is so soft and comfy. Did that sound like C? It sounded like C. Tonight, at the stroke of ten, come to the cathedral. Well, okay, I mean, it's gotta be the lieutenant, right? She's the one who had C in the first place, so... What? I look, Joshua, I'm gonna need a strong disagree with you there. No, you won't go by yourself. 
No, you don't get to leave Estelle behind. She's the one I like. Hey. I'm no less a bracer than you are. I can handle myself. And I won't slow you down. Your silver tongue is not going to work on me. Oh. What are you not telling me? I'm closer to you than just about anyone, Joshua. There's nothing you can keep from me. Not for very long, anyway. Alright. If you want to come with me, I won't stop you. It's almost ten now, so we have to hurry. Okay... Look, I understand you're trying to build up this up as something really serious, Joshua, but I can't help but feel you're being a little overdramatic. Oh, there are so many soldiers! That's frustrating. Okay, well... There's a soldier right there. There's a soldier there. Soldiers are out. Oh! Can't go this way. Oh. Seriously? There are so many of them! Well, sure enough, the guy who's camping out isn't here. Okay, made it to the south block. I don't know how far away I need to be from them, to be fair. Okay. That seems to have worked. Yeah, it would be too easy if I could go that way, I guess. Freaking blinded. Okay, we made it.
are totally the lieutenant, though, right? Yep, First Lieutenant Schwartz. At a time. The Septian Church has a long and deep ties with the royal family. Colonel Virtue's little conspiracy had us on the run, and they've helped us stay hidden within the city. The answer to your other question, why I called you here? If you win the final match tomorrow, you'll get invited to that dinner. Right? What I need you to do is to get in touch with Her Majesty. I realize that's a selfish request, but since we're basically fugitives, there's no way for us to make contact. Mm-hmm. Really no. <laughs> mm-hmm. Julia's letter. Probably, yeah. I was deceived and thereby failed the one I was supposed to protect. And this happened not all that long after I swore I would give my life to safeguard her, too. I can't imagine how helpless I... You can't imagine how helpless I feel. Having to defend ent depend entirely on another's help. It is not without reason that he was known as the finest swordsman in all the royal army. The Divine Blade. Before he retired from service, I had a chance to be trained by him when he was a martial arts instructor at the military academy. If not for him, I would not be as skilled as I am. I guess he must have given up the sword when he decided to become a bracer. His goal wasn't to kill his enemies, he wanted to improve himself and help those weaker. That's why he chose the bow staff, I imagine. Colonel Cassius trained both of you. I have all the faith in the world that you'll win tomorrow's match. Pardon us, this is the Grantsville City Guard. Due to the terrorist threat, we will now be patrolling the main facilities. I apologize for the lateness of the hour, but do you mind if we have a look inside? Quite all right. Just a moment, please, and I'll open the door.
never would have imagined it'd be a lieutenant of sports waiting for us. Hmm. Well. Estelle. I won't ask you anything about before we met until you're ready to tell me. I try to be careful, but sometimes it just slips my mind. <laughs> it's overwhelming to think about all of the people around us. Each and every one of them living his or her own life. All under the same sky. And every person you meet has a personality. And a history. And a story. Every one of them is just like us. Sometimes I just have to remind myself that no one acts without a cause. Nothing happens without a reason or a motive or an excuse. And it's only when I remember that that I can start to feel like I might be able to reclaim the parts of me that I've lost. That is a promise that you are going to need to keep. Okay then, we have ourselves a deal! Oh, my gloom's gone fluttering away. That was quite loud though. Because once you've told me what you're going to tell me, then I'll tell you what I've got to tell you. Absolutely not! It's a delicate matter, and timing is crucial. Though, I guess the situation does feel kind of right. But still, no dice! Not yet. <laughs> of course I'm ready. Ain't no way I'm letting those guys keep me from this talk. I'm gonna show those special ops types <laughs> How a touch of girl power can ruin their whole day. Girl power. Yesterday was genuinely awful. Let's just check quickly. Um, right there. Mm -hmm. Actually, I've been fiddling with the arms of Dad's alarm block ornament. I figure he could use some more sleep for his sake and ours. <laughs> Unfreaking believable. How could I oversleep on the day of the championship? And I overslept so spectacularly, no less. Oh. 
No, not really. Oh? Oh? Yesterday afternoon. Where did she go? So it just keeps stopping me for questions, and honestly, this makes my job take three times longer. Um. I wonder if she's run off somewhere. Grandpa didn't come home this year, and he hasn't even he, he isn't even in the tournament. Hmm. I'm pretty sure this is the general's house. she interesting Chloe is totally the princess really I suppose that makes sense come to think of it where was the bracer guild founded was it in liberal or was it somewhere else this might be information I was given at some point, but I don't remember. Just the port, but also the royal villa is closed. Today I'm headed to the cathedral. I must finish all this cleansing, cleaning, before morning. Hmm. He just eats in here all day. Yes. Give me espresso. Actually, I already have one. <laughs> Actually, that was tea. But, you know. Mm-hmm. Unusually focused. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it does seem like they are. They're the military police of their Bonian Empire. Hmm. It does seem like they're trying to emulate that. Well, Niall's gone again. I hope he didn't get caught up in something. I mean, you know, aside from the thing that we've already got him caught up in. I hope he is only caught up in one thing.
Let's see. Okay, that is actually a pretty significant boost for... Uh, it's 25 for Olivia, it is 20 for Estelle, and... It's 29 for Zen. I guess he has an Earth. Defense boost. Uh... I mean, the thing is, I'm most worried about Joshua. And he already has one. Hmm... I don't want to buy two. But it might be worthwhile to buy one. More. To buy one more. Uh, in fact, let's put this on you. I think you can spare the small uh, magic defense draw. And now Zin has more defense as well. Mm hmm. I would just buy the third one as well, but I'm a little bit concerned about what my money situation is going to be like once the tournament ends. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, if you want to pay us to do it, or better still, give us some quartz, Uh, what? Wait a second. No. Did I leave something turned on? No. What has just happened? What is... Twitch is acting up. Sorry. Um... What the heck is this? Okay, I don't feel like I really need that, but it's not hurting anything. Okay, okay! There we go. Oh. Oh. Plus two movement. And is it reasonable? You know what? Sure. Mm-hmm. Martial law, indeed. Oh, uh, I want to make crafts. I wonder if I'll have time to do that this weekend. I'm already planning on making Onigiri, but, you know, Onigiri actually shouldn't take that long to make. I could probably make crafts. Hmm. I don't think I'll have time on Saturday, but I think I can probably make time for it on Sunday. <laughs> I'm liking the sound of this. That would be good for my digestion too. I need to eat. I need to eat. Look, I'm not going to go into it, but suffice it to say, I could do with more fiber. <laughs> oh, that's definitely too much. That is definitely TMI. <laughs> mm -hmm. Knew it. Okay. Um, go over here, 
Yep, there were a lot. Wait, this is an inn? Where are the beds? Interesting. Oh. Are they bad mathing each other? That doesn't sound very insane there, Anton. I mean, you should just go up to her and say hi. Really? Dude! Dude! Anton, I've changed my mind. You should not say hi to this girl. You should... You should go home and rethink your life. Don't be creeping. <laughs> Ro you hear that? Roland is free of craziness. It is the best place. Eh, this place is not free of craziness. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you just are not yet aware of it. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Really? Why do you keep. Look, you need to stop bad mouthing your sister. Yeah, that is good advice. Don't do grocery shopping when you're hungry. You'll buy things you don't need. Kitty's Guide to Savoring Delicious Tea. Rule number five Seep the leaves. Tea leaves release all their bitterness before the real flavor starts to flow in. Well, that's not strictly true, actually. That is true. Again, it sort of depends what kind of leaves you're using. Um... Hmm. Okay, I have the key to this away. To the sewers again. Hmm. That's how it's going to be then. Wait, I recognize these things. They have an instant death attack. That's... that's... that's not... I don't love it. Okay, and Joshua has zero ZP again. At least he gains it quickly. Like, Zin just sort of doesn't? But Zin doesn't burn it through it as fast either, so... Haha! -ha! Okay, um... There are so many! Okay, well... I'm going to need to fight some of you, just because there's too freaking many in the way. Hmm. 
Yeah, like, in fairness to Joshua, he gets 15 from just a single attack. Zin gets, like, 8. Hmm. Okay, we made it through. Oh! Treasures doesn't respond, you know. <laughs> Monsters! Monsters appeared. <laughs> no kidding. Okay, let's do a quick check here. Well... I mean... Fire AoE would be fast, but... Ah, that's disappointing. Okay, well, we'll do that. Um... Okay, let's see... What goes... Those guys go first, those guys go... Basically everyone does. You know, let's just... Let's see what we hit. We won't hit everything, but hopefully we'll get most of them. Mm. We'll definitely hit that one. Okay. You know what? We took out three of them there. Not a bad start. Zin was already poisoned. And you know what? I think we hit you as well. We did not. We did not hit you. Really? Well, okay, I mean... I'm pretty sure these things have instant kills, so I'm still a little bit worried about that. Um... Sure. Ah, uh, not quite. I thought it was worth a shot. I don't- I think Zin will be fine anyway. Uh, okay, well that did hurt quite a lot, but Zin is fine. Then Olivier can finish you off. Tons of Sepeth. Gladiator Headband. That one is going to be an end card for sure. Um. Gladiator Headband. Plus 5 Strength, minus 5 Defense, CP up. Well, oh, he already has one. Hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, you already have one. Okay, who... Estelle has some really good arts, but she's kind of an all-rounder. Zin's arts are a little bit underwhelming, but some of them are pretty good. I don't think he needs a boost, though. 
I'm kind of concerned about dropping Estelle's defense, though. I mean, it's not that big a drop, and the plus 10% CP is good. Which, come to think of it, is probably why Joshua gets CP so quickly. At least partially. Hmm. Oh, also, I almost forgot, but I didn't. Turn around, please. You're... Oh, wow. That could have gone better. I should heal Olivia. Wow. Uh, he's hurting a little bit. Joshua. Joshua. This, no. Joshua, this is not the time to be missing Joshua. Zin, what's your excuse? You have an accuracy booster! Well, it's a good thing I petrified this one. Because Olivia definitely would have died there otherwise. Although, to be fair, I might have healed him had I not petrified the other one. I cannot say for certain that I would have, but I might have. I see. Yep, that checks out. You know what? You were gonna sneak attack me, so I may as well just run into you face first. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Olivia can finish that guy off. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I was not disappointed. I have given you a critical hit now, though. I don't know that that is better or worse than the strength piece, to be honest. <laughs> they messed with the wrong guy. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Estelle might not blow up there. Well, I mean, she's not going to blow up. I guess. Oh, but now Zin is going to blow up. No. Nope. <laughs> nope. Uh, you know what, actually? From what I've seen, the egg needs to charge an attack first, so... <laughs> Not you, Joshua. You are guaranteed... Wait. Oh. Okay, well, you know what, Zin? You have lots of HP. You'll be fine. So, will Stella, I guess? To savor the victory. We are... Who was, in fact, too close. 
Okay, um, nope. It almost caught my tail there. Uh, that goes further down. What's over here? Okay. I'm about to blow up a stellar probably. I feel like I feel like it's gonna happen. I feel like it's about to happen. Well, she might be far enough away. She was this time. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Oh, this place is huge. Really? That's kind of scary. We'll come back to this one. Uh oh. Well, I know, I know what this part of the sewer is for. At least it connects the two halves of the, halves of the sewer. You gotta be the boss monster. Oh, there's four of them. I don't know why I thought there wouldn't be, but... Bonefish. Okay, well, Bonefish. I hope you like go- oh. Wait, wait! I hope you like going slow. Worth it. You know what? You're not very good at magic, but you don't have fire. Never mind, Zin. Uh That should be fine. I mean, I could take advantage of my critical, but uh I think I'm gonna put more magic on them. Okay, yes, I think this was successful. <clears throat> they didn't even drop that much sepet. Oh, they gave lots of experience, though. Not that I'm especially close to leveling up again. Okay, I guess that's a fair amount of Earth Seppin, at least. I mean, there's like four of them, right? So, yeah, not bad. Oh, let's get my mouse out of there. Throw the switch! That might be important later. Or it may not be. I don't know. Monsters! I have seen this configuration before. So apparently this does damage and it's just like really good. I'm never gonna recover just with CP at this rate though.
ahead and attack that one. Ow, oh, you went all the way over there. That's a little disappointing. Still, six out of eight, not bad. Six and a half, really. I did hit it. Okay. I'll take it. That really does kind of trivialize it, doesn't it? Not that I'm complaining. Cestus. You look familiar. Cestus sounds like a weapon to me. Aha! 100 plus 15. That is a lot. Okay, well, I ran into you face first as well because I was pretty sure you would sneak up on me and just. I mean, this feels not ideal. I don't think I'll hit any of them. Well, I, I don't think I'll hit many of them if I do that one. Let's do this. Okay for that. Oh no! Why is it always Joshua? Ah, uh, that sucks. That does confirm it though, they do have a pop the claw dudes do have a possible one shot kill. That's unfortunate. Okay, this is pretty much ideal to my mind because now I have a chance to revive Joshua. So, at least he'll get the experience. I don't know, maybe I'll just cook something to recover my CP before the tournament. I might end up doing that. And I say my CP, but really I mean Joshua's CP. He's the only one. Oh, he got reduced because he was dead for... Well, that doesn't seem fair. He was alive for most of... He was alive while well, he was alive for the end anyway. Wow. That's... That's unfortunate. More unfortunate than I had even realized. Excuse me. Now, there is at least one box down here that I still haven't reached yet. So, I wonder if there will be a 
third part of the sewers. Although, I haven't done everything here- wait. Yeah, no, I did that. I haven't done everything here yet, but... I've done most of it. I mean, Joshua has to recover somehow. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna use just some cooking to recover CP. <laughs> I'm just feel quite sure of it now. Maybe I should blow up Joshua deliberately, because then he will get some CP from it. Okay, well, I mean, I'm definitely going to kill you, because I don't want you to risk you instant killing another character. Yeah, I'm totally going to do it. <laughs> It didn't kill him. And now he's at 80 CP, which is, you know, not bad. Um... Mm-hmm. That checks out. Um... Hmm. Actually, no. Straight up. Hit. That. It is quite dangerous. I wonder, are you- no, you're not fast enough. Okay, well... Just please don't kill anyone. <sighs> okay. Worst comes to worst, I can deal with the egg using plasma on Zin, but it looks like I'm not even going to need to. Although, Zin will blow up. Actually, no. I was wrong. It has, I guess, like one digit of life left. Yep, 6 HP. <laughs> now Zin blows up. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Well, I've certainly raked Hawkeye. Haha, -ha, I need to be back. Hawkeye. I mean, Hawkeye sounds like a words to me. It seems it's not, however, so my next guess would be... Aha! Plus 10 strength. That's like the end though, right? I mean, there's still one box down here somewhere that I haven't opened, but... I don't know how to reach it. So... 
Yeah. I probably could have avoided you. You know what? No. Forget it. I don't need to fight you. As it turns out, you're actually quite dangerous? Uh, at least when I don't get a sneak attack. Which does a pretty good job of just letting me, like, clear you before you become any, you pose any real threat. Asha, wow. We're only fighting this so that you can recover CP. And you can't do that if you miss. <laughs> what seems a little iffy, actually, I feel like missing should increase our CP. Maybe not by a whole lot, but like maybe a small fixed amount. Well, that was something. Okay. Um. Let's see. <laughs> no. Um. CP. Oh, that heals CP. That's a little pricey, though. And it doesn't heal MP. You know what? Just, we're gonna do what we did last time, and we're just gonna go to the end. That is not the end. Ninety... wait. It's about 90. 90 CP is probably enough for Joshua, and you know, just in case we'll save before we go in. Like we have the last few times. I don't even care. Just yay! Violence is cool. I hope I rem when I am editing this. I hope I remember that because this, if I have done my job right, this should be the episode title. And you know, I gotta be honest with you. Sitting here recording this now, I might not do my job jo my job right editing. <laughs> but I've called. I've preemptively have called myself out. So um, yeah. Hmm. Welcome everyone to the Grand Arena. Mm hmm That's why I saved. Okay. Oh, it dragged us straight over here this time. Okay, so I... Let me talk for a second here. I... I know that there are a few fights in Trails that are unwinnable. I don't know if there are any fights in Trails of the Sky 1 that are unwinnable. They might... That might be a thing that starts in the second game. I'm not sure. But I bring this up because... On the one hand, I feel like they've been signposting awful hard that this is a fight that I should be able to win. But on the other hand, I feel... Well, first of all, it'll be a lot more dramatic if we don't. 
but also it feels like what we've seen from the captain of the opposing team is that he's just gonna ruffle stomp rumple stomp us. Hmm. Excuse us for being less gaudy than your imperialists. If you were gonna make us walk around- oh, wait. We're walking around on our own? Oh, this is gonna end badly. Well, well. What new turn of events is this? I thought for sure that you'd go with them. Hmm. I just get the feeling that something's changed between them. Some type of step forward. <laughs> uh, Olivia. No, uh, bad Olivia. Bad. You're only supposed to ship people with yourself. I still cannot go there, but I can go up here. Wait, Olivia? <laughs> well, you would love to hear that. What? Hmm. Wait, what? Amnesia? Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Oh, I really don't like the sound of that. also being hit by the magic hypnosis, I would be very upset. Mm -hmm. That could be interesting. Estelle, Joshua. But of course, you've always been such a big help to me. I owe you to at least that much. The museum director had some sudden business to attend to, so we couldn't make it. <laughs> First year teams making it to the finals. Hmm. On with the show, yeah, whip a snappers. I was gonna camp out to get some good seats, but the night patrol made me go home. So I did the only sensible thing. 
I snuck out of the house, hid in the bushes, and waited for the soldiers to leave. Sensible. Sure. Mm-hmm. It lag. Hey, Estelle. You did it. The final fight. It's so exciting. That seems to be the case. Mm-hmm. The martial arts competition is always so much fun. I was so excited for today's events, I couldn't sleep one wink. I got up extra early today so I could rest these two and get some good seats. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it wants us to go over here, so. Or not. Maybe to the... Huh. I thought for sure. Oh. Estelle. Joshua. Is that you? Mayor. It's good to see you both again. Sherazar told me you'd gone traveling all over the kingdom. You've certainly grown up nicely in the time since we've last met. Well, I won't let you young folk beat me just yet. So, I heard that you two made it all the way to the championship. I may be a little old for such things, but I came to watch. No, no. I got an invitation out of the blue to a, excuse me, dinner party. I only arrived in Brentsville this morning. I came by way of airliner. I was originally planning to attend a birthday ceremony app for this married couple and then journey here. But this lady officer approached me out of nowhere and told me that I was invited to this dinner party. Sadly, my wife's just not much of a traveler, so I didn't have much choice but to come by myself. Mm-hmm. Well, that explains it. It hardly seems appropriate to call for a dinner party when Her Majesty is taken ill. But if you two will be there, I might not feel quite so awkward. So that'll just mean you'll have to try that much harder to win. I feel like all of the mayors, maybe minus one, will probably be there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's try it! Oh, we're in for another royal proclamation, it seems. Along with the intelligence division? Hmm...
He's handsome enough and well groomed. He looks like the capable sort. He doesn't seem to bear much resemblance to one I saw him in Pose, at least in terms of character. Olivia. We must apologize for the long wait. We now open the final day of the martial arts competition. Hmm, the bracer who is feeling lightheaded is no longer in the sands. I feel really nervous about this. If it's just the fight and that's the end of it, then it'll be fine, but I feel like there's gonna be a wrench thrown into things. That is not the same captain! Oh wait, no. It's right from the front. Maybe it is the same captain. Hmm. Since they lack my dazzling good looks, there's probably a lot of sniping and backbiting in their ranks. What the hell's that supposed to mean? All of you know I'm considered very- Sure you are. Sure you are. What is it, boy? That sword technique. Hmm. Hopefully they're sta- no, they're not. Oh, but then you did that. I bet I can hit at least two of you. Hmm. Do I want to evil eye just the two of them? With my limited CP, I mean, it's more bang for my buck than flickering, I guess. Okay, one of them will go before me if I do that. I think we'll start off with that, nice and easy. Come on. Boost our attack power, and you are gonna AoE nuke the field. Cause, like, get real. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Oh, that's a delay move? Eh. I didn't know that. I don't like that. Hmm. Uh, I don't want to knock you out of the effect, so... Excellent.
Oh, that's... That's a... Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I love that. Do not love that, though. I am decidedly less of a fan of that. Okay, uh... Aha! But now, I don't really have anything for you to, to wait. Hmm... If I hit any of them, then I'll knock them out of Olivier's spell. So, let's, um, boost strength and defense. TBH, I could really do without you healing your people, but... As long as I keep hitting them all with AoE, you won't be able to keep up. Okay. Can I flicker two of them? I can! I would really rather flicker you, but well. What? <laughs> okay, the d the double does not have that much HP, it seems. Mm. Let's see. I feel like I should probably heal... Joshua, actually. Well, I can probably put it off a little bit longer, but it feels a little iffy. Um, okay, that's the main one. So... Hey, could you stop duplicating yourself, please? It's, it's kind of annoying. A little bit. Well, I mean... Okay, that has... Wow. Um... I mean, that might just get finished off by Estelle's thing. I guess I'll try to confuse another of them. And I set up the nice flicker, too. That's the one I wanted, right there. Okay, I wasn't sure that I would kill the the shadow, like the full 2,000 damage, even with 300%. And you know, it was pretty close, but it looks like we managed it. Hey, guess what? I can still flicker you. Okay, no, that is not good use of the live here. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it looks like the confusion wore off. Okay, it's time to heal now. Um... Oh. If I move Joshua, then this should be fine. He just needs to attack, like, here. So, let's use Cloak and Dagger. Actually, no. Let's use Dual Strike. You know, I probably shouldn't be complaining when I just did it, but that is really annoying. No. Mm. Okay then. Oh, you son of a... Of course you realize what this means. It means more AoE magic. <laughs> Wow, this is really slow. Hmm. Oh, that's also pretty slow. Okay, well, you know, let's just, uh, tempting, but no. This doesn't actually deal more damage than the regular aerial. Oh, but you know what? Estelle's moving slow. So, Arrow Storm. Slower than Olivia, anyway. Oh, you know what? I don't think I should have moved Joshua there. Well, it was probably fine. Okay, I don't like this. I don't love it. You do not have that much HP left. I still have a strength boost. I can probably finish you off before he heals you. And then I made him heal himself instead. You know what? Mm, I don't feel 100% about that decision. But I have finally cleared out the henchmen. Mostly. I've mostly cleared out the henchmen. Uh oh. Um, I have an item for this, I think. That is faint. You're not close enough to heal him. Um, okay, well, I feel strongly that I want Joshua to not be fainted. Maybe I should have healed his HP first, though. Um, I'm probably going to use his special attack after this, because I feel like he may be about to die. <laughs> In fact... <You're> finished. <laughs> and that frees up Zin to run over here. Yeah, you know what? If Zin wasn't over here, that would have absolutely killed Joshua. Hmm. 
Ah, he's healing himself! Impede! No heals! Oh, but that has enabled you to hit me more. Okay then. Um, I feel like I should have this on. I am regretting some decisions that I made. In terms of what items I have equipped it. Okay, well... I am quite certain that Zin will survive the next attack. Not 100% sure about Joshua, but you know what? Looks like he's okay for now? I need, to actually, to get Olivier closer so that he can throw items. <laughs> okay, you know what? This is no time to be stingy. Hmm. Okay, well, you know what? I only did that because I wanted to move closer to Olivier, and honestly, I feel like I should have just used movement. Because that would have been faster, and you would have been closer. Okay... Um... Hmm... Again, Zen is definitely going to still be standing. I'm not certain about Joshua. Although, using spamming mean, Flicker does help a lot. Well, that doesn't seem very fair. No, Estelle, you should go closer. Mm, yeah, you should get as close as you can. Eh. Okay, well, I mean, I guess I'll just, well, no, he just nullifies the next attack, doesn't he? That's what that does. Oh, enough with the damn healing! <laughs> oh, a still can do that as well. Hmm. Oh, that is really very... Oh, come on! Oh. 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 And 
and Joshua's not dead! Somehow. Now, we're right there. Okay, more flicker. Let's see. Blue impact or... Hmm. Let's see what this does. <laughs> well, it did a lot of damage, and really, that's what I was looking for. Okay, tempted though I am to finish you off with a smite. Uh, no, you have 5 HP left, actually, as it turns out, and you just killed Joshua. Uh, okay, well, you know what? I'm not about to let Joshua not get experience from this fight, so... We will do that. And then Estelle will finish you off! Not bad. What a stingy amount of for of uh, Sepith that was. But Estelle and Joshua are gonna level up, um and that's it. Okay, well now that I see it on this screen, it's a little bit better. Even so, I feel like the boss character should have dropped more. <laughs> We're the best of the best! How can we lose? Yahoo! We did it! Now the winning team will be blessed with a few words from Duke Finet. Wow, you look even bigger up close. Are all Easterners as huge as you? Wow, that's rude. <laughs> I I figured. <laughs> I just ate well, slept well, and trained diligently ever since I was young. I'm the way I am because I tend to think about everything very carefully and deeply. I see, I see. I like you, Zin. Allow me to present you with the prize of 100,000 Mira and the invitation to the dinner party. Okay, uh, that's, that's a, that's a few, Mira. I just shine her light and glory upon you. My beloved citizens, let's hear a big round of applause for the victors. Hmm. His Excellency, ex- his Excellency must surely be ashamed to see his men beating. Was all that posturing just for show? 
I am indeed shamed. Truth be told, I asked Lawrence to hold back. It would remove any member of the intelligence division not to put all of his strengths on display. And in this instance, it works to our benefit that the others win the championship. Still, it is a pity if Lieutenant Schwartz or General Morgan had participated. The show would have been far more dynamic. I don't think quite that highly of my skill with a sword. I doubt I would be able to defeat the second lieutenant here, uh, if he fought as hard as he could either. I beg to differ. I have confidence in my ability to judge the strength of others. And the, the only person I could see being able to fight you on equal terms would be him. Leave them be. We'll honor the arrangement with the Duke. And besides, it's far too late for the Bracer Guild to cause us any trouble. So, mm -hmm. and e even if I must endure the stigma of treason, I should. Um, so I'm. Th I've been thinking about this a bit. I suspect that they've done mindy windy stuff to one of the senior bracers. Now, they've already seized control of the army, and they've. Discredit by, well, by literally seizing control of the regular military and by framing the Royal Guards as, as treasonous. But the Bracer Guild is still around, and the Bracer Guild isn't allowed to work it directly with uh, matters of nations, <laughs> but they are still very close with the Queen, and they are a somewhat persistent potential thorn in his side. It seems to me he may have wanted to arrange uh, something to discredit them as well. For instance, by making one of their senior members partake in something that would reflect badly on the whole organization. Um, <laughs> Or, to put it more bluntly, to frame them for treason as well. Um, that might not happen. That's just one possibility, but it's what I have in my mind. It's that something that might happen. It's the sort of worrying that I'm doing for where the events are leading here. Mm -hmm. Liberal royal dining. The very prospect of such decadence. Look at me. My mouth can barely contain itself. Where's my handkerchief? <laughs> Indeed. Let us be off then. Off to gorge our souls upon the seven courses of courtly defection. Oh, that's the plan, is it? Well, well, fancy meeting you here. You son of a bitch. You wander all over the place every damn day and leave me wondering what the hell you're up to. Have you gone completely mad? What possesses you to participate in a, a, a martial arts competition? Oh, oh, come now, my dear Muller. There's no need to crease your lovely face with such an ill-tempered expression. After all, is it not true that good fortune comes to those who favor those around them with a smile? 
I am smiling! I don't believe we've met. My name is Muller. I've just recently appointed as the resident military officer at the Erbonian Embassy. I have known this whack job for a very long time. One might even call us schoolyard chums. Fret not over his dark demeanor. Without it, his presence wouldn't light up the room the way it does. Okay, you really need to shut up now. From the looks of things, this fellow has caused you some trouble. As a representative of the Erbonian Embassy, I sincerely apologize. How indeed. But okay, fine. What's done is done. Now though, we're going back to the embassy. Yes, you are coming with me. Mm-hmm. Delightful and wondrous, eh? Sounds nice. Too bad you won't be attending. You're going to be confined to the embassy for a while. Are you serious? When do I j ever joke? Oh, cruel fate. Truly, you drive a knife into my very heart. The promise of this dinner party has been all that's helped me maintain my will to live. I knew I could count on you. Ah, uh, but love a thing is true friendship. Such warmth and affection, as opposed to the cruel frigidity of my schoolyard chum. But <laughs> a dinner party, populated by royalty and its influential guests from across the country, and also in attendance, an arrogant fool who never shuts his mouth, because his foot is lodged so far into it. And yet we found out that this uncouth imbecile was an Arbonian citizen. My beautiful and gorgeous comrades, why have you so suddenly fallen silent? I'm sorry, Olivia, but he does kind of have a point. Yes. The war only ended ten years ago. Relations between our countries can still be strained at times. You're just gonna have to grin and bear it. My dinner party! <laughs> Okay, so the stuff that I gave to him, um, let me think. I, okay, well, do I have my cast two back? I do not. So, Olivia took my horse with him, which is a little unfortunate. It's not the end of the world, but it's unfortunate. Hmm. Okay, well anyway, I am going to stop here for the night. So, I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, have a fantastic day or more likely evening considering the local time. Bye!